This is the air deck encounter at the Bangalore airport at 5.25 a.m. on the 11th of February. Noisy scenes and fights with passengers. I was there around 5.20. Somebody from air deck person came, he wrote 5.30 there. Mike was saying 5.25. He, he watched his watch, he put it 5.28 on my tickets and he said that's it, you cannot board the flight because you are three minutes late. This is the same counter at 5.25 a.m. on the 14th of February. 5.25 was check-in time, so I showed my ticket which had 5.21 written on it. There was another person who had 5.23 written on it. There was a lady, old lady who had 3.35 written on it. So we showed all the tickets. What he said was, कि हमको लगा कि आप बॉम्बे के आप दिल्ली के फ्लाइट पे हो। He backtracked on that. On the same day, they also ironically offloaded a passenger from the Bangalore Delhi flight. The reason? He mistook me that I think there was some fight was going on for the Bombay plane. He first he had written 5:15 or 5:20. I told him as of this time, even now I can board the flight as per your rule. It is 30 minutes prior. It is 5:25. I can. Then you can see distinctly, he took the ticket and then he manipulated it. That he then he made 530 or 535. So it all boils down to what is written on your ticket. And to find out just how this is done, we go undercover as passengers on the 27th of February. Offloading people seems like a part of the air deck and manager's daily routine. Just like spitting his morning pan. You have to just go to the ticketing counter, uh, give the ticket and get it cancelled. <laughs> this little blue mark on your ticket, which says you are allegedly three minutes late, is all that it takes. And you are left pleading to get onto a flight that you had every right to be on. And if you protest too much, so what he did was he grabbed my neck. You can't touch me. Don't touch me, okay? Don't touch me. You are the one who touched me. My friend, you are the one who touched me. That's when the security came in. So this is how the entire operation is managed. When you check in, first the baggage screening goes slow, then there is only one check-in counter, and the line seems to stretch forever. The check-in staff at the counter is purposely told to slow down. And then, you're declared as having come late, even if you were at the airport an hour before departure. They slow down the counter You see, from the sales department, they sell more tickets. You see, suppose the flight capacity... They overbook. Exactly. And all that the passenger has in terms of redressal is this complaint book, which is full of the same story, repeated over and over again. Yes, sir, please. Ma'am, does anyone look at this register also? So many similar complaints. They clearly have no answer. And this blatant violation of passengers' rights seems to have become an open secret. But no action has been taken. You can ask us, see what you have been going to do with this kind of a complaint, what we receive. These complaints are left unattended by our grievance section. So day after day, passengers get taken for a ride and an airline continues to bend the rules simply because the DGCA, the aviation watchdog, is fast asleep while malpractices continue right under its nose simply because they refuse to read the only interaction they have with passengers, the complaints register. With Priyanjana Datta in Bangalore, in Mumbai, Ruksh Chatterjee. Somebody hacked into our system for about five days. None of the travel agents could get into the system. Then we had to, we had to immediately restore the website. The website was hijacked. And then uh, also inherently, because of the migration, because we did not have cooperation from the previous vendor, which is Interglobe Technology, in migrating the data. So there were some overbookings. And because of the, as you know, today, in, in anywhere in the world, if the, if the web system, reservation system collapses, then uh, the, the airline, uh, you know, entire uh, data gets uh, corrupted. Uh, so there was a period of time, about six, seven days, where a lot of flights 
uh, had this problem where customers came and some customers had uh, had bought uh, tickets on flights that did not exist. 